Peekaboo, peeka, peeka, peekaboo. Peek uh oh, we have a very unhappy stuffy here. He belongs to a little boy and he doesn't think he's being treated right. His name is Nubby and he thinks he will run away and find something better. Maybe that doesn't work out great for Nubby, but we're about to find out. This book was written by Dan Richards, illustrated by Shanda McClowski, and this book was published by Alfred A. Knopf. Here we go, friends. Nubby was done. He had been carried, buried, dropped, dragged, torn, worn, chewed on, sat on, and even used as a nose wipe repeatedly. A bunny can only take so much. He needed a new beginning. Somewhere he was appreciated. That afternoon, while the rest of the house slept, Nubby ventured out into the great wide world. He had not gone far before he had a most unexpected meeting. The resemblance was uncanny. Longish ears, poofy tails, and wrinkly noses. Friends! Surely he'd be appreciated here. But instead of welcoming him, they ignored him. It was as if, as if they didn't even see him. His boy would never treat him like that. His boy would, he couldn't quite put a paw on it. Oh well, Nubby told himself, something better was bound to come along. And soon it did. Nubby landed the starring role in a magic show. He'd be famous, and then everyone would adore him. He just knew it. But fame can be fickle, and Nubby found himself all alone back on the street. Finding someone to appreciate him was hard work. He longed for a familiar voice, even if sometimes it was whiny and grumpy. But Nubby was far from home, too far to turn back now. If popularity and fame weren't the answers, then what could it be? Of course. Why hadn't he thought of it before? He just needed to be rich. Then everyone would see how amazing he really was. Nubby set out across oceans and continents, braving all manner of danger, searching for treasure. And he found it. He would be wealthy beyond his wildest dreams and everyone would have to appreciate him. It all seemed so obvious. Alas, fortunes can be lost as easily as they can be found. Nubby lay staring up at the sky, the pain in his chest cut deep, deeper than torn cloth and strewn stuffing. It went all the way to the very fabric of his soul. He missed the old days, laughing and playing with his boy. Remembering brought a sad, fuzzy sort of smile to his face. Back then his life had been what, what had it been? Oh, it had been messy and loud and unruly, but it had also been close and unspoken and real. If only he could go back. If only it wasn't too late. And then 
he made a startling discovery, a life-changing discovery, a discovery worth all the pain <clears throat> and loneliness and heartache he had endured. Nubby pulled himself up, found a ride, and hurried back home. Nubby was still carried, buried, dropped, dragged, torn, worn, chewed on, sat on and even used as a nose wipe. But now he barely noticed. He was too busy being nuzzled, snuggled, cuddled, clutched, bathed, bundled, squeezed, smoothed, and utterly adored, repeatedly just like he had always been. Only now, he cherished every moment of it. And that made all the difference. We see a map of all of Nubby's adventures here. He never got very far from home, did he? Thank goodness. That little boy would have a broken heart. Life wasn't so bad for Nubby after all, was it? I miss you, friends. Mwah.